Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Thanks for stopping by on my channel and joining me today. It's really, really appreciated. Thanks ever so much, guys. Uh, today I'm here with a um, Poundland and a Home Bargains haul. So um, I just popped in both of them shops. I hadn't actually been in Poundland for like a little while. So I remember it was long overdue and I did need some batteries and I always get them from Poundland because, you know, I just think that they're quite good value in there. And um, yeah, Home Bargains is my second home. As you all know, I'm never out of the place. You know, um, I, I visit there quite often, you know, more than once a week, you know what I do. Yeah, I'm trying to limit my visits to Home Bargains. <laughs> Because there's just so much temptation in there, isn't there? Anyway, I'm going to show you some what I picked up this time. Um, I think if we do Poundland first, yeah, and then we'll move on to um, B&M. Not B&M, Home Bargains. <laughs> I do like B&M as well, though. Okay, first off, I picked up these. And they're these salt and pepper shakers in, like, lovely pumpkins. I'll just open them and I'll, I'll show you them. I was dead impressed with them, really impressed, hence I bought them. I bought more than one box as well because um, I picked some up for like little stocking fillers, little gifts and stuff. So that's them there, aren't they lovely? They're obviously pot, you know, ceramic. Um, this one is your salt and this one is your pepper. Actually, you can use them anywhere around you like, you know. But uh, aren't they lovely? I just think they're gorgeous. I just want to show you something else though. Because I picked these ones up in Next. Just spin them around. You'll have seen these um, on my channel. But that's them there. And these were from Next. And with the exception of being on the plinth, I think, you know, there's not a lot, a lot of difference in them. These were uh, I think the fourteen pound. I think when I got them, they were twelve pound. But I'm sure they increased to fourteen pound this year. Um, I mean these are tend to be a bit bigger as well, the pound lamb ones. But guys, the price difference is massive. You know the the next ones, which are these ones. You know as I say, I were fourteen pound this year. These were one pound fifty. You know, just like one pound fifty for them. And I think they are right quality. You know, they're about, they're, they're definitely comparable with the next ones, you know. But that's a massive saving, isn't it, guys? So honestly, I would definitely recommend these. And just so you know, in case you didn't catch the box, that's the box that come in. Absolutely brilliant for £1.50. Highly recommend them. I'm just going to pop them over here because um, I might break them. I don't want to break these ones. <laughs> oh. Anyway, my next item I picked up from um, Poundland was this lovely little bumblebee pen. So cute. Writes in black ink and I like black ink. Um, out of like blue and black. I prefer, work, I prefer writing in black ink and blue. I, I don't know, it's just a me thing. I just prefer black ink pens I always have even when I was at school I used to prefer to write in black ink um, but that's the pen there it's got lovely diamond -y wings can you see so it's a little bit of glitz there and I thought he would be brilliant for uh, my garden journal like my garden book so I picked him up to complement that book so I can write in you know where I'm going to be planting and things like that so he was a pound just a pound for that lovely and you twist it you know to um i don't know if it's refillable you know it probably you you probably can buy refills for it you know with it being just like a um, standard pen my next item was what i went in poundland for and that's the batteries and it's i got the um the double ears because we use mostly these definitely use them this time of year guys more than any other time um, I would see a stock up on them, I really would, because Christmas is around the corner and we usually always need these batteries for like 
I don't know, I've got like little lanterns, you know, Christmas lanterns and they, they need these batteries and some of them take like three, four batteries so definitely time to stock up on them and um, the little um, seed lights, you know, I like the ones behind me, you know, they take three of these batteries and uh, yeah, so I, I picked up them £2 for an 18 pack. My next item was this toilet cleaner. It's the Harpic. This one, I really, really like this one. Um, this is the one I always use along with just bleach. But um, I do like to clean the toilets with this and then pour a little bit of bleach down. Um, so it's the Harpic Black, I'll just call it. I, I don't know. So it's Harpic Power Plus. It's that one. This was only a pound in Poundland. So a pound for the Harpic. I next picked up these and it's the uh, kitchen roll. Now I've been buying them in um, in Aldi and uh, for my, um, what's it called? I always say a toilet roll holder and it's not kitchen roll holder. It's like I need the wider, you know, the, the hole here. I need the wider hole so it fits over on mine. Like the thinner normal size tube doesn't fit. So I need to get the wider, you know, like tube. And um, the ones in Aldi, is, it's a quite expensive. I think they were like um, £2 something for one. And um, they, they are a bit bigger. They are a bit taller than these ones. But uh, it's still really expensive. These were £3 for three. So it works out as a pound each. I know, I know, a pound each even. That sounds expensive to me. You know, because what kitchen roll used to be. You know, but um, hey, you know, everything's gone up, hasn't it? I'm hoping that we're going to see a slide, you know, um, next year. Uh, I'm hoping that prices start to start to come down. They should. They should start and fall, you know. I think the supermarkets have totally cashed in on it, though. You know, I think there's been a bit of, um, yeah, cashing in on it, basically. Just charging prices just because they can, you know. But that's my opinion. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's all I got from Poundland, and I'm going to move on to uh, home bargains. Oh, wait until you see this, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't wait and see her in it. <laughs> it's a little dress for Pippin. Pippin's my granddaughter, if you don't know. Um, look at it, it's like a little pumpkin. How cute is that? You know, it was ever so cheap, you know, it was only 5 99 and this will fit off for next year. It really will. So she'll have two years out of it. Um, it's got this lovely little headband. So she looks like a little little pumpkin. And it's like, can you see these like little frilly bits? It's got net, like the skirts, like net at the back. Of, but it's like this frilly pumpkin-y style at the front. It's absolutely adorable. And uh, I picked it up because this was the smallest size they had. And it's one to two year old. But um, I think... I think she'll be able to wear this. You know, it's the length isn't too bad. Um, it's the, the width of it, but maybe I can just run it in a little bit, you know, with my sewing machine. And uh, it'll fit her next year as well. So five ninety nine for that. They did have them in bigger sizes as well. They had them like, you know, in three to four, five to six. And and um, I, think, I think the furthest they went up to was a five to six. I didn't see any 78s. There's a 78. Uh, anyway, I, I saw them in like the smaller sizes. But they did have loads of other costumes in there for children and adults as well. Um, you know, if like for teenagers, um, for me, like, oh, I was tempted, guys. I was tempted. But um, I do have some, already have some Halloween outfits, so I, I didn't. <laughs> My next item is these. And this is um, a gingerbread garland. And it's a make your own one. It's like the bunting. And how cute is that? How absolutely cute. And it's got like the gingham. Oh, it's, it's ever so nice. So um, I can't wait to do that, you know, to make that. I just think it's going to be lovely. Um, it'd be lovely for Pippin's room there. Can you see the little gingham? I just love anything gingham, in, a, in all fairness. I think gingham looks very country, cottagey or farmhousey, doesn't it? Um, this was 3 99 It was 3 99 for that. I didn't think that was a bad price at all, you know. 
$3.99. But it's nice to do with like, you know, if you've got grandchildren um, or, or young children, you know, it's it's a lovely to sit and do things like that with them. I'm so looking forward to when Pippin is of that age, you know, because I used to love sitting with my kids, you know, we used to do all sorts of crafts and um, they used to really like glass painting and things like that, you know, like I used to get just these like little jars, um, not jars, what were they called? Um, I'm not even, oh, it's a magpie. <laughs> Salute the magpie. Uh, they were like little candle uh, jar things um, and I used to get them from Ikea they were so cheap they were like something like 20 pence back in the day you know yeah they used to draw um, with a glass paint on on them and uh, I've, do you know what I've still got some of them the over at the caravan you know some of the ones that they did what's not broken you know because obviously over the years they've gotten broken but I do still have some over there next time I'm over the caravan I'll show you them which speaking of which craggy guys we haven't even been over you know we opened it up in April we were supposed to open it up in the March. Um, well, we weren't supposed to. That's that's not what I mean. We could open it up in the March. The season started in the March. But we didn't go over until the April. And we've never been back since. So, you know, I mean, I'm presuming it's still there. Because I haven't had a phone call to see it otherwise. Like, it's blow, blowing off in the wind. But, um, yeah, guys, we just haven't used it at all this year. You know, we, we don't use it an awful lot in anywhere. But, um just not got the time to go at all we've never ever i i would say we haven't used that caravan in the last wow i would say we haven't used that caravan in the last 10 years mm -hmm. like properly you know we've only been going over like a handful of times in the year for the last 10 years you know it's desperate it's absolutely desperate for work but um and David's in the other room. I don't see anything to David, guys, because of like doing Emma's house, and then I want some work doing on this house, you know. And if I say, oh, you know, we'll have to do the caravan, he'd be like, get on your bike, <laughs> you know. I think I'd be pushing my luck, so I'm, I'm just, I'm waiting for the right time to spring it on him. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on, I picked up these bags just refuge sacks now I just bag up garden weeds in these you know they're, they're just great for outdoors you know bagging things up um, and also if you're putting things in storage as well like garden ornaments and things that you're bringing in the winter you know I, I usually just bag them up and these were £1.49 and you get 10 in there but they are a decent like the okay quality you know they're not thin you're not going to instantly put your finger through them so £1.49 for those my next item was um was this oh my word this is beautiful smell it's the Febreze and it's in the Bora Bora vibes oh guys it's amazing yeah this is for like your soft cushion um soft furnishings like your cushions curtains rugs things like that and oh my word it smells amazing it really does smell amazing and um if I haven't already said it's in the Bora Bora vibes it was £2.49 for that but it does last fairly long Um, I do like to spray it upstairs with this because downstairs I burn candles so that gives me like the air freshener kind of smell you know but um, upstairs I don't burn candles Um, so to use this like on the upstairs floors you know it's um, it's safer isn't it than burning a candle and not being up there so yeah definitely recommend that one but they did have it in this fragrance yeah it's in the sugar plum fragrance and um yeah it's got it down as a like a christmasy i think it's like a, a christmas scent but i would say that you can use this all the time it's a limited edition and i've got the floor cleaner and um, you know, oh, it smells amazing. Honestly, I've still got it there. It smells amazing. If it comes back, because they are limited editions, these. And honestly, guys, if they come back, I'm stocking up on it. Because it smells oh, gorgeous. It really does. 
Um, so this was £2.49 as well for this one. Sorry, there's 500 mils in there, if you were wondering. So I've got enough of that. Um, I did also pick up the compliment that. You know, so obviously I'll spray my curtains and soft furnishings. You can spray a bedding with this as well. But um, there is the air mist as well to complement it. So, as I say, it's going to be used mainly upstairs. Um, and this was one ninety nine for that one. My next item are these. But I did pick up some more of these. You know, the mushrooms, the toadstools. And these were three ninety nine. They are glass. And they're so worth the money there was, really. And you pay an absolute fortune for ornaments like that in garden centres. So, um, yeah. My next item is... Oh, look at him. How cute. How cute is he? Look at his little skates. They're so gorgeous. And his scarf. I just... I thought he was so cute. And, um... He's there uh, needle felted. Actually, his ears are coming off. I'm going to have to needle felt them back on. But he was just ever so cute. I actually got him out of B&M. I've just noticed he was from B&M. So there's one like little thing crept in from B&M. It was £2.50. They did have other ones, but I liked him mostly. And I just think, again, if you were to buy him from a garden centre, it's the kind of thing you would see, isn't it? Um, in a garden centre and they're usually way overpriced in my opinion you know I don't like paying them prices and uh, in you know B&M you can pick them up for what £2.50 bargain <laughs> next I picked up this I got one of these last year and I, I thought oh I, like actually I didn't get it someone bought it for me actually it was bought for me as a gift and um, I, I wanted another one, but when I asked, like the person who bought me it, like where they bought me, like bought it from, and they told me it was home bargains, but when I went down, they didn't have any left. And I'm not surprised, in all fairness, because they're beautiful. So um, anyway, I um, I just I'm just trying to open it, guys. Um, when I was in this year, like when I was in just like this week. One, I spotted them back on the shelves, you know. So obviously I couldn't, I couldn't resist, you know. I, I did resist because I could have bought more than one. This is it. Oh my goodness, guys! It looks beautiful on night time. It really does. I, I have put some batteries in. Oh, I hope you can see. It is light today. Um, can you see? It's like it flickers the flame. And it looks absolutely amazing on a night time. Now this is like wax. You know at this bit. It's like a wax. Um, it, it's just beautiful honestly. So I've got two because I like symmetry. <laughs> I like things matching. You know like. I don't know. It's just something in my brain. Um, but yeah lovely absolutely lovely you can pop it back in the box as well for storage you know to keep it safe um there is another color available but i have never seen it in that color and if the, if i do i might pick that one up for upstairs in the bedroom but that's the other color can you see it's like a just a plain clear not clear white creamy one yeah creamy one neutral so i think if i saw this one I would probably pick it up because they're only four ninety nine, and I don't think four ninety nine is bad at all. You know, for um for the quality of it, I think it's really good quality. I don't know why I'm putting it back in the box because I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it in the living room. Anyway, four ninety nine for that, guys. And my other item is this one. Oh, oh, my back still yeah <laughs> i've still got problems with my back guys but the set the end um, the surgeon well i can see he's the surgeon the consultant said he doesn't have to cement it and um i thought well that's good to know you know because i i had all images of him standing there with a trowel and a blue circle cement 
<laughs> but he said he's happy with the alignment of my back and everything and um you know that he doesn't need to do anything right now but um anyway if i can lift this surf i buy the big box you can get an even bigger box than this the other size up is um i'm not sure how much is in it but it's 11.99 that one but i buy this box because then um, i can carry it for what <laughs> i would be able to carry the bigger box i don't think i get it in the tropical lily fragrance it's lovely i've used this for a long time um it says you get 80 washes in it in all fairness i couldn't tell you whether that's accurate or not um because i do my measurements which probably isn't their measurements <laughs> Um, this one, I got this in actual B&M as well because um, in Home Bargains it's eight ninety nine, but in B&M it's eight forty nine. so you can get it cheaper in B&M guys and I would say to shop between them two shops because um, especially if they're not too far apart, you know, because um, the prices are pretty competitive in both of them, you know, and um, sometimes, I mean, mostly i find home bargains cheaper than b and m um but not always you know not always some of the cleaning products are cheaper oh yes poundland um oh do you know the mold and mildew spray that i really really like it's the astonish one now it's one pound 79 in b and m and they've got it for one pound 25 in Poundland guys so if you're gonna get it get it in Poundland because it's much cheaper you know and every everything helps doesn't it every saving helps so £8.49 for that one from B&M so it's like 50 pence cheaper than um, than one bargains right guys I just want to see it um, if you're watching this video and you've enjoyed it please give me a like and if you haven't already subscribed I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel Um, I do all sorts of things on the channel it's quite an eclectic mix I do hauls I do clothing and try-ons I do um gardening I do anything to do with the house and home I do travel you know I like to think that was something on the channel that you know it's for everyone so i would really really appreciate it if you would you know um subscribe to my channel you can click this button you know here <laughs> and um yeah yeah i've noticed quite a few of you are searching for the name silver moonlight but um you don't have to like search for that you know if you click the subscribe button and if you click the little bell it reminds you you know that i put a video up and that you know there's a one there waiting to to watch and it just cuts out you know you typing in my name um so yeah if you would subscribe if you press the subscribe button i'd really really appreciate that because it does also help me out as well you know it's um yeah it, it just helps me out guys so i do hope that you all enjoy the rest of your week stay safe everyone bye bye for now bye